everyone, I'm Dr. Constance Goh and I'm excited to show you my seed collection. Did you know that plants have different types of adaptations to disperse their seeds further away from the parent's plant? This will help to reduce overcrowding and competition for sunlight, water, mineral salts and space to grow. There are four main methods of dispersal. As we can see here, the first method is by splitting. The second are wind-dispersed seeds. The third are animal-dispersed seeds. And the last are water-dispersed fruits and seeds. We will now take a closer look at each group of seeds and their special adaptations. All the seeds shown here are dispersed by splitting or explosive action. This is the flame of the forest, saga, butterfly pea, and rubber seeds. They all have this in common. Listen to this. They have hard and dry pods, and they have a line of weakness. So when the fruit splits along the line of weakness, the seeds inside will be scattered out. Let us see what happens when the fruit of a butterfly pea splits open. Notice how the curling action of the pot flings out the seeds with great force and scatters them. All the fruits shown here are dispersed by animals. There are three methods of dispersal. The first is for inedible fruits such as the mimosa fruit. As you can see here, the seeds have stiff hairs which will hook on to the fur of passing animals. These will then drop off when the animal goes elsewhere and gets dispersed. The fruit on my right is a dragon fruit. It is a fleshy fruit with tiny, indigestible seeds. These seeds are swallowed by the animal, and since they cannot be digested, they will be passed out in the animal droppings when the animal goes elsewhere. Similarly, the chili also has small, indigestible seeds, which are swallowed by the animal and passed out. On the right is a mango. The mango has a very large seed. In this case, the fleshy part of the fruit is eaten by the animal and the seed is thrown away. Fruits which are edible tend to be juicy and fleshy in order to attract animals to eat them and disperse their seeds. The fruits shown here are dispersed by water. This is the sea almond. It has a waterproof skin. When the waterproof skin decomposes, you can see that underneath it has a fibrous husk. This is another fruit where the fibrous husk is more clearly seen. Here we can see that the fibrous husk traps air, which enables this fruit to float on water and be dispersed to other places. All the seeds shown here are dispersed by wind. Notice how they all have wing-like structures or hair-like structures. This is the seed of the cotton plant. And this is where we get cotton wool from. These are the hair-like structures that will catch the wind and enable this seed to float in the air and be carried away from the parent plant. Notice also how the size of the wing-like structure increases with the mass of the seed. This is the seed of the malva nut. It is used to make a Chinese dessert called Qing Tong. Notice how the size of the seed is almost as big as the size of my thumb. And therefore, this wing-like structure is as big as my palm. Let us compare this seed with something that is tiny and light, like the African tulip. You can see here that the seed is very small and it has very, very soft wing-like structures that resemble plastic bags. Notice also that we have other seeds that look like helicopter wings and these will rotate as they fall, enabling them to spin and stay afloat for a longer time. Let us now see some of these spinning fruits in action.
Did you know that wind dispersed seeds have different flight modes as well? Do check out my other YouTube video to learn more about the flight modes of wind dispersed seeds and the types of modern day inventions that they have inspired. Meanwhile, do continue to explore and experience science. See you again.